We're here today on the 335th day of the year of the monkey 2016 in the Valley of the Gnomes to celebrate my comrade Oli's 10th birthday. Now that is, um, that's 60 in Oli years, uh, but we'll get back to that later. Oli years are pretty special. They're, they're sensitive, they're expansive, uh, and, and other people enjoy them. Um, so we're going to try to turn back the ears a little bit and, and the first thing we're going to do is a uh, is an impression of Dire Straits Money for Nothing Okay, so first of all you need to concentrate on the thumb in your head Another way to turn back time, of course, is to tell a story. Uh, probably a lot of you never heard about this story. This is uh, um, Oli getting his getting his new watch from Victoria's Secret. Um, yeah, it's a time machine, you know, just like this is a time machine. That's a that's a world's smallest violin that plays all the time. Anyway, so Oli got this new new watch and he wanted to go show it off so he goes down to the bar and he's sitting there on the bar like this and uh, uh, pretty soon uh, Lena comes up you know what Lena is it's one of them women with the big hands you know that have to lean on something anyway Lena shows up and she looks at that watch she goes wow nice watch and Ollie says yeah it, it tells a lot more than time it tells me secrets and she goes ooh have it tell a secret about me and so he goes okay hey, he starts to smile, puts his hand down. She goes, "What? What it say?" And uh, Oli says, "It says you ain't wearing no panties." And she goes, "That's not right. I am too." And so Oli takes a look at his watch again. He goes, "Hour fast." So there's a. There's a thing about these time machines, you know, if I can ever build one large enough uh, with the extra seat, uh, well, extra two seats because one's already taken, um, you're definitely up for that third seat because, man, I'd love to go back and relive some of the shit that we've done. That'd be fun. Um, but to get a real time machine, you need a flux capacitor, a black hole, and lots of speed, and I haven't been able to get my hands on any of those things yet. So we're going to use the next best thing, and that's symbols. Uh, you know, symbols are pretty, pretty darn powerful. Uh, the uh, uh, um, yeah, it was going to we're going to use the two symbols of uh, this. This is a symbol of time. Uh, playing cards, you know, they, they use tarot cards and, and uh, to for divining. And uh, I got about we got about 15 minutes of sun here. Um, yes, so we're going to use cards and currency. And uh, let me explain to you briefly what, why that these two things will make a time machine. Um, because the cards represent time. Uh, and that, that's because they, they were meant to be that. The front here is represents the past. It's very clear. Uh, you can see exactly what happened, of course, unless... Uh, CNN's reporting on it. Um, then there's the back side, which is the future, and it's all kind of jumbled up. Uh, but uh, you can see that there are six angels on this card, which is a good thing. Uh, two of them riding bicycles, and um, four of them as mermaids. Um, then we have the currency. Uh, this is this is pretty interesting here because these two symbols on the back here. Right here, it's the front and, reserve, and, and reverse of the great seal. If you fold it together, you'll see that fold it in half, it exactly comes together. So 
See that? Exactly comes together. And um, what they are actually, this one is the the eagle, the symbol of courage and victory. It has 13 arrows in uh, one claw and an olive branch with 13 leaves in the other, 13 stars above his head, um, 13 feathers on each wing, 13 stripes, and 13 tail feathers. And it says the inscription above, E Plutibus Unum, from many one. Over here, that is the symbol of the past. This is the symbol of the future. You can see there's a, it's an unfinished pyramid with the eye of providence at the top, the all-seeing eye, um, and the inscription above, the Latin inscription above, means uh, the, uh, a new order for the ages. Um, no symbolism there or anything, huh? Um, yeah, so um, the, when, when you put the two together, uh, let me just, because you can actually, you can actually fold, you know, normally the normal process of time is that the past folds into the future. Um, and, but in a time machine, uh, if you want time to go backwards, you have to kind of, you have to fold the future into the past. Now, the space in between, that's here, that, that, that's the past, that's the past, that's the future, and the space in between is the edge. So, normally, it's folded over like this. The, the, the future folds over the past. But in the time machine, we can fold the past over the future. And it has to, you have to get it exact, otherwise it just doesn't, doesn't work really well. Now this is a very, very small time machine, so we're going we're gonna to be able to do some very, very small changes in time. It is pretty interesting though. Uh, we are starting this with the currency. Um, the past and the future are going to be folded over the past and the future here so we'll start out like this we'll refold it together at the same time so like this and if you get it exactly right it's a double fold of the past and the future you get this weird effect it's a bit just a little bit it goes right back just a little bit in time to where the, the face was folded out like that um, when you redo it, uh, if you do it correctly, that didn't work. Um, sometimes you have to reposition it. Sometimes you have to just have to just kind of unfold it a little bit and restart. So it's a little bit off there. So there we go. So I think that should be all right. So yeah, let's try it again. There you go. That's pretty. I, I think that's just amazing. And then if we open up the time machine a little bit, this is pretty amazing. You can actually see the inner workings. What's this? Isn't that amazing or what? And then we can open this one up, and then you get a view. Check this out. Amazing. Look at that. Now, if you keep playing with it too much, it freezes, like our, uh, like eventually probably our monetary system. When that happens, you got to fold it into smaller and smaller pieces until you're able to to dismantle uh, time.
time into its constituent parts. And there you have it. Um, the time machine. And we're about here. Something special is happening today, actually. There's a there's a hole up in the rock, and, and then the sun is gonna he's gonna go. It's just a perfect position. The sun goes behind the eiger, shines through this hole, and it's just in the right spot that the that the beam of light will shine down on the church. It's pretty pretty amazing thing. Um, I think they probably discovered this uh, back in the 1600s when they built the church. Um, but yeah, it's nice and warm in the sun here. Um, see? Okay, well, oop. And that's, that's us. And there she blows. And a <clears throat> short message from our sponsor, Joe King. Um, earlier we were talking about only years. And uh, here's what you got to do to figure it out. You got to get some ears. They got to be sensitive. Ouch! They got to be expansive. And people have to enjoy them. And then they're, you got to get some oil and you put it on them and then they're holy ears uh, what's the difference between the Panama Canal and Hillary Clinton uh, one's a busy ditch what's the difference between a dirty bus stop and a lobster with boobs uh, One's a crusty bus station. The other one's a busty crust station. Uh, what's the difference between a chorus girl lineup and a circus act? Uh, one's a cunning group of stunts. And that'll be all of Joe King for today. We'll see you later. Bye.
the way you do it. Do it. Get your money, money for nothing. Get your checks for free. We got to install microwave oven, custom kitchen delivery. We got to move these refrigerators. We got to move these color TV. That's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. 